trouble also mounting for former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurupa. Bengaluru court on Thursday issued a non-bailable arrest warrant against former Chief Minister and senior BGP leader B.S. Yadurupa in a POXO case. Well, the special court has issued the arrest warrant after Criminal Investigation Department probing the case summoned Yadurupa for questioning in this matter. Yadurupa, however, had sought time to appear before the CID. Remember, Yadurupa is accused of sexually harassing a minor girl when her mother went to meet him for help in a 2015 case of sexual assault of the same girl by a relative. Challenging that he will fight this case legally, BSY denied allegations and saying that this is vendetta, there is a conspiracy being hatched against him. BSY has also approached the High Court seeking annulment of the case filed against him. No political intervention. I never met anyone from the government or police or anybody else. It's purely a private case, no nexus whatsoever with the, any government agency. See, victim's mother, when she was alive, she called me that she wanted to meet me regarding this case. I asked her to come over to my office on Monday, but Monday itself she died. And there are materials. Material is victim is the material victim says. Victim statement was recorded by the learned magistrate. How they can say it's a politically motivated case? What's your take on, uh, as a lawyer, that he's your client, sir? He's, he's already moved the high court for anticipatory. Correct. What's your take, sir? Next course of action would be what, sir? Now, under 41A, which was issued earlier, he has taken part in the investigation. Okay. This time, when they gave the notice, he already had plans to go to Delhi. So, he gave a written uh, exemption. Okay. And also told the date on which he is going to come and appear. That is 70. Right, sir. Despite this, in a case, they have gone ahead and... Uh, they can be warranted. Okay. Sir, and also do you feel there's a political vendetta again in this in this case and also an angle towards it? Because initially the Home Minister had said that uh, the complainant was not mentally stable. This is 100% true. This is, this is what our argument will be tomorrow before the High Court. Okay. But in matter of this fashion, when it was initially filed, uh, no less than the Home Minister himself had uh, said this is a frivolous and false complaint, number one. Number two, uh, the persons who are witness are staying in that residence, okay. along with BSY. All their statements have been recorded and uh, they inequitably uh, say the claim made by the victim of the complaint is false. Okay. Number three, this complaint who is now no more. She attended uh, because of lung cancer or throat cancer yeah. two uh, weeks ago. That complaint has lost as many as 54 such complaints before all higher ranking officials, politicians, uh, public figures. Nagarjun Dwarkanath is getting asked more details on that story. Joining us live right now from Bengaluru. Naga, give us an idea about what are the legal options for BS Yadirupa at this point in time, as it appears that the noose really is just patting around his neck, isn't it? Good morning, Sneha. In fact, there are two legal remedies that uh, Edirupa has already up approached the High Court of Karnataka. One is the CRPC 482, that is the quashing of the FIR itself, that the case itself doesn't stand. And he has requested the court to quash the case against him. And second is the anticipatory bail. Uh, yesterday, there was a warrant issued. And today, the anticipatory bail hearing is coming up at 2.30 in the High Court of Karnataka. And the argument that the, the uh, Edirupa Council will take is that uh, this is a political vendetta case when the Home Minister himself had given a statement that the complaint was mentally not stable. How is that uh, the uh, case is going forward in the investigation? And for the last three months, it was dead. And suddenly, overnight, it has woken up. And now the warrant has been issued by the court because the Karnataka government also argued in favor of it. Is what the Edirapa Council will argue in front of the High Court bench today. All eyes at 2.30. Edirapa seems to be in Delhi, but we'll have to wait and watch what will be his next move if the court goes against his verdict. All right. I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us up to speed with those details. Nagarjun Dwarkanath with that update as far as B.S. Yadurpa's matter is concerned.